This episode of One on One is brought to you by ATV. Scott Vincent, one of my dear, dear, I'd say friends, but probably I admire him more because of what you've achieved. Scott, I've had the privilege of playing with such great guys like Luis Chitengu and the rest, but you've done some amazing things. Congratulations on Canada. Let's talk about that. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was great. Um, obviously, just hoping that I can continue to play the way that I have been and hopefully just continue growing in my game and as a person. So I'm just excited for what the future holds and just looking forward to whatever happens well, next. Well, you, you know, you're, you're all American and uh, played your first tournament as an amateur, last tournament as an amateur, just turned pro. Mm -hmm. Your first pro tournament in the motherland will be the Econet this weekend. That's pretty exciting, so we'll see what you do there. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a lot of hopes for you, but let's just talk about your faith. You've, you've really had a strong faith getting you to this place. Yes, yes. Now, I've been, been very blessed. I had some really good friends at high school and those are some of the guys that kind of got my faith going and got me walking with the Lord just, just because they were so passionate about it. So um, really a lot of the credit kind of goes to them um, and how, how they've you know, grown in their faith and that's kind of helped me with... with but isn't that kind work. of crazy? I mean, you're in the States, you're one of the top players in the world, ranked, I think you got down to 13, 8, best amateurs in the world? Yeah, I got, the best I got was 16, so... 16 in the world. Vincent would make birdies at 15 and 17 and then par 18 to give him a bogey-free 68 and victory at the 2014 Players Amateur. Well, just played really steady. I didn't make any bogeys today, so that was kind of my game plan. Um, and so that that helped. And yeah, I just try to take it one shot at a time and just keep it in front of me on the fairway and on the greens. And yeah, worked out okay. I mean, every girl in the world wanted you, man. <laughs> How do you stay away from that? No, no. Unfortunately, fortunately, not, not many of the girls were <laughs> Unfortunately, chasing. fortunately, yeah. Yeah, not many girls were interested, but um, that was all right with me. I've just got myself a girl right now, and she's just amazing, so I'm really happy with American her. American girl? American girl, yes. Okay. Yep. So, a few weeks to go, and he's going to find out whether he's back in the States. Give us your dreams lying ahead. What's kind of in Scott Vincent's dream radar? Well, I'm just hoping to get back on that PGA Tour as soon as I can. Um, obviously, I got a taste of it at the RBC, so... Loved every minute of it, loved meeting all the guys and just want to get out there as soon as I can. You didn't feel the pressure? Oh no, I did, absolutely. Uh, there's a What's lot it like pressure. seeing some of these world names that we see? Jordan Spieth, yeah. Tiger, whoever, and you're coming, little guy from Africa, playing right. with them. Right, no, it was, it was awesome. I'd played a little golf with Jordan before, but um, obviously now he's you know, number two in the world, so that's a little different, but yeah. Were you intimidated? How did you feel with your game compared to his? You know, I just kind of got on with my own thing. Um, that was kind of the plan. I didn't know how that was going to end up at the end of the day, but it was great. Uh, my game felt good. Um, obviously, a few things I need to work on. Um, well, I mean, you don't have to work on a lot. Let me just, he won't say it, because <laughs> I ask him, he's like the shyest, coolest, humblest guy you've ever met. But Scotty, 22 under in the Harare Open two years ago. I remember that. I remember the late Louis Tatengo. I mean, he shot 13 under in the Zimam around Bulawayo. I think you shattered that record. <laughs> Arguably one of Africa's greatest ama ever amateurs, and yet you'd really taken it all in stride. That 22 under though, I mean, it's phenomenal golf. Did you think you could pull that out, or was it just those magic days? Yeah, just a magic week. Um, just played really good and, you know, came out with that score. Um, don't really know what else to say about it, but it just kind of all clicked that week and yeah, it, <laughs> a great score. So, Well, a lot of people are hoping for you and for Zimbabwe to have another Nick Price and 